The top 10 markets for polyethylene film. That's what we're here to find out. And we are joined by Kevin Huntsman, who is the president of Mastio & Company. My name is Jim Colari. I'm the editorial director of Plastics Technology. And for the past few weeks, we have been doing this series of videos looking at the biggest polyethylene markets for film extrusion. And we have focused so far on the bottom six. We're working our way up from 10 to 1. And now we are on an interesting market, a market that is probably undergoing a lot of change because of what's going on on the legislative front. And that is uh, T-shirt bags. So, uh, Kevin, welcome to our video series. Uh, you guys have talked to a lot of people, done a lot of research over the years, including for this last study. What can you tell me about this market? Well, you, you kind of nailed it there, Jim. It's one of those interesting markets that obviously has a lot of, of resin still going into it. Um, uh, not a lot of players anymore. We really profile just about eight players, eight participants that are manufacturing t-shirt bags. And within yeah. those eight, the top three are 75% plus of the market. So not a market that, that uh, converters are, are really interested in, in entering more legacy type uh, players in this. And as you mentioned, Jim, just the, the various states banning the bags. And right. it, uh, obviously California has always been a leader in, in that type of area and they continue to be, but there's other parts of the country that are following suit. And, and with that, you're looking at a market that it's not negative growth, but there's no growth right now. So yeah. I think uh, the, those participants that we profiled were uncertain as to what the future necessarily looks like as that shift occurs away from these types of bags but, uh, but a large volume market that's primarily high density. So it's a, it's a 75% high density type market, uh, a little bit of linear low. You get some PCR in there as well that you're trying to use, not just your, your post, your regrind, and, but some PCR in addition to that. Not a glamorous market, not one that, that, that a lot of people are looking to get into, but as far as the resin uh, manufacturers go, it's still, a, it's still a big market from a volumetric perspective, Jim. Yeah, it's still a big market. Pounds wise, you mentioned California. Uh, I live in New Jersey. They have also imposed uh, a ban on bags here. Um, one of the things that has been happening in that industry is that the bags continue to get thinner and thinner, down gauging. I assume that is still a trend that uh, that you have. Uh, oh, ab absolutely. I mean, you're looking at all blown film. And there's still some mix of some monolayer and some co-extruded. I think you get some of the the, the, the T-shirt bags are maybe a little bit heavier, a little bit better quality. Obviously, mm -hmm. we all think of, say, Walmart or Target or different retailers. You see some of that. I, I did notice, Jim, I live in Kansas City that mm -hmm. I was traveling here recently. And in some, uh, I was at a Walmart. I think it was in Illinois. They charge you for the T-shirt the yeah. bag. So there's, yeah. uh, there's a cost associated with that if you don't bring your own bag. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you get any feedback from uh, folks that you've interviewed on whether or not they think that these bands are going to go away or they're going to expand? But I don't think they think they're going to go away, but I don't think they're going to expand either. So I think it's kind mm -hmm. of a wait and see attitude uh, for right. the people that we interviewed just to see what other states follow suit, whether it's mm -hmm. California or New Jersey uh, or other states in the Northeast or different parts of the country, but not going away, but not something you're investing heavily in if you're the if you're making t-shirt bags. Kevin, thanks for joining us and giving us your insights on t-shirt film. Uh, for those who are listening and who want to catch up on this video series, you can check in on the Plastics Technology LinkedIn channel, uh, my LinkedIn channel at Jim Calari, uh, also on YouTube. All these videos will be posted there, including this one. Kevin, thanks for joining us. I look forward to talking to you as we get closer to the top four markets in film. Thank thanks. you, Jim.